Theater of the Woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Do you know what a firebug is? Well, that's a person who likes to start fires because there's something wrong in his mind that makes him want to see things burn. It looked for a time as though the village of Naughty Pine and the surrounding countryside might be plagued by one of those persons. But right now, boys and girls, suppose you join Ralph and myself as we're riding along a mountain stream not very far from Naughty Pine. Sure is dry, isn't it? Yeah. Even the stream would probably be dried up if it weren't spring-fed. Driest dry season I've ever seen. Be a good time for a fire. A bad time, you mean, Ralph? Oh, oh yeah, Bill. Uh, you know what I mean. Sure, I know. Say. What is it, Bill? You smell smoke? Yeah, now that you mention it, I think I do. It's over this way. Come on. There it is. A campfire. Must be some city fellas out on a fishing trip. Whoa, Storm. Oh, boy. Hi there. Hi. I'm Bill Jefferson. This is uh, Ralph Dawson. We're rangers from Naughty Pine. Glad to know you. I'm Bruce Hilton. My buddy over there, that's Rex Simpson. Hi. You fellas from the city? Yeah, just grabbed a few days off from work to come out and try to catch some of your fish. Well, have fun, but be careful with your campfires. Things are pretty dry around here right now. A camper who's careless with the fire could really cause trouble. Ah, look, Ranger, we know what we're doing. We don't need you to tell us how to put out a campfire. Okay, Mr. Simpson, no offense intended. Just a friendly reminder. Well, we'll be leaving you to your fishing now. Goodbye. Hi, Stumpy. Hello, Stumpy. Oh, the Bill. Ralph. Any trouble out there? Oh, nothing but a couple of campers. City guys. Uh... They acted really insulted when Bill suggested uh, they might get careless with their fires. I uh, don't think they'll give us any trouble, though. Not if they're as sure of themselves as they sounded. Mm, wonder who that'll be. A ranger headquarters, Bill Jefferson speaking. What? Okay, right away. Come on, there's a fire down near the edge of the forest. There, Bill, that's the last spark. Well, good thing we found this one in time. Yeah. Could have done a lot of damage. It got in a head start. How do you think it started, Bill? It was them city fellers started it, I'd say. But they were farther upstream. When we saw them, yes. This could have been from their morning fire. It won't hurt anything to give them another warning. It'll hurt their pride. <laughs> Better hurt their fool pride than let them burn up half the county. And dry as it is, that's just what they might do. That's right, Stumpy. I think I'll ride on up there and have another talk with those fellas.
Whoa, boy. Well, Ranger, out looking for trouble again? Yeah, maybe he still thinks we don't know how to play with matches without getting burned, Bruce. Just dropped in to see if you fellas knew anything about the fire. What fire? The one we just put out a couple of miles downstream. Could have started a major forest fire if one of our boys hadn't spotted it just when he did. Uh, we don't know anything about it. Didn't even see it. You're sure it couldn't have started from your morning campfire? Of course we're sure. Now, look, Ranger. Why don't you just go on back to tending your bonfires and quit pestering us? Mr. Simpson, it's my duty to protect the lives and property of the people in this area. I... Get the chip off your shoulder, Rex. This fellow's just doing his job. Thanks, Mr. Hilton. I'm glad you realize that. So a word to the wise is sufficient, okay? Okay, Ranger, we'll be careful. But we didn't have anything to do with that fire you're talking about. As Rex says, we didn't even know about it. Well, Mike Demery, what brings you into town so bright and early? Here, have a chair. Yeah, no mind if I do. Well, Bill, had a little trouble out at my place last night. Thought you ought to know about it. Trouble? What kind of trouble, Mike? A grass fire. And I don't mind telling you, with all this dry weather we've been having, it's got me worried. I know what you mean. We've been worried about the possibility of a major fire. There was a small fire a few miles downstream from your place yesterday, too. But how did yours start, Mike? Well, I, uh... I hate to say how I think it started, Bill. As you know, my barn is pretty close to the stream, and the fire started in the dry grass near the edge of the water. I'm sure glad I saw it when I did. Yeah. I was glad one of my rangers located that other fire just when he did, too. But uh, you said you had a theory about how the one at your place got started, Mike. What were you driving at? Well, Bill, it... uh... It almost seems as though that fire was started deliberately by someone who wanted to set fire to my barn. But who would want to do a thing like that? I didn't think you had any enemies, Mike. I don't think it was exactly an enemy, Bill. Well, it's a cinch no friend would do a thing so dangerous and terrible. Well, that isn't what I meant either. Then what do you mean? Bill... You ever hear of a person they call a firebug? Mm-hmm. Someone with a mental disorder that makes them want to start fires. Of course, I've heard of that. But surely you don't think... Yes, I do. And the worst of it is, I think I know who that firebug is. Oh? Yep. Just before I discovered the fire, my hired hand and I both saw this feller sneaking Everything's around... Everything's okay, Bill. Not a sign of smoke anywhere. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know that you were... It's all right, Ralph. Mr. Demery here was just telling me that there was another fire last night out at his place. Oh, oh, those city fellas again. City fellas? There are some fellows from the city out here on a fishing trip. They're camping along that stream, moving a little farther upstream each day. We thought they might have carelessly started the fire that we put out yesterday. Oh, I see. Well, it wasn't those campers that started the fire beside my barn. I'm sure of that. Uh, When Ralph came in, you were about to tell me what you saw just before you discovered the fire. It wasn't what, but who. All right. Who was it then? Old Buck Sawyer. Buck Buck Sawyer? Sawyer? And you think old Buck is a fire bug? Why, Mike, that's impossible. Don't be too sure of that, Bill. After all, he was there. Tom, uh, that's my hired hand, Tom and I both saw him, big as life, sneaking around down there along the stream. Well, that may be. But I find it hard to believe that old Buck would try to set fire to anyone's barn. That old fellow never harmed anybody in his life. Yeah, I know it. I hate to believe it, too. But you know, when somebody slips a cog in his mind, he does things like he's never done before. That's true enough. 
But old Buck, of all people, I just can't believe it. Well, believe it or not, as you like, Bill. But take my advice. Keep a sharp eye on old Buck Sawyer. You mean to say Mike Demery thinks old Buck is one of them firefly critters? You mean fire bug? Well, that's what T told us. Of course, we think he's mistaken about it. He sure is. Why, like I told him, old Buck never hurt anyone. He wouldn't try to set fire to Mr. Demery's barn. I'm sure he wouldn't. Still, I wonder what he was doing there around Mike's barn at that hour of the evening. Bill, you're not doubting old Buck's innocence, are you? No. Just wondering. Well, maybe he did start the fire. By accident. Maybe. Maybe. But I don't think he'd just go away and leave it, just like that. Not Buck Sawyer. Oh, sure, he, he's too smart for that. Besides, he loves the woods too much to start a fire that might destroy it. That's for sure. But I'd sure like to know who is responsible for starting those fires. Well, my vote still goes to those campers. Mine, too, Ralph. Hello, Ranger Bill Jefferson speaking. What's that? Where? Yes, of course, we'll be right there. Another fire just upstream from Mike Demery's place. Come on. Well, I think we've got it, fellas. You put your shovels away now. Good thing your hired man saw this one just when he did, Mike. Yes, it was. I don't mind telling you, Bill. I'm getting mighty tired of all these fires. I'm going to have to ask you to do something about them. And if you won't, well, then I'll be forced to go to the sheriff. I don't know what the sheriff could do that we're not doing. After all, we're as anxious as you are to keep fires from being started... We've warned those campers repeatedly. Campers, my eye. It's Buck Sawyer you want to catch. Mr. Demery, you don't really think old Buck had anything to do with this, do you? Sure I do. More convinced of it now than ever was. Why? Did you see him again? Well, no. But I, I still think he's a firebug. Oh, Tommy Rot. What's that? I said Tommy Rot. The fellas just don't happen to agree with you, Mike. And frankly, I don't either. But I'll have a talk with old Buck anyway. Meanwhile, we'll go on upstream and see if we can find the campers again. Now listen, you rangers, and get this straight once and for all. Bruce and I came out here for a vacation. Not to have you fellas breathing down our backs every time we turn up the stream. We didn't come to disturb your vacation, Mr. Simpson. We'd just like to know where you were camped last night and uh, where you made your noon fire today. Well, we were somewhere along the stream, of course. But we don't know locations around here like you do. Yeah, and besides, it's none of your business anyway where we were. What Bill is driving at is, uh, did you camp close to Mike Demery's barn last night? We don't even know any Mike Demery. And we didn't camp close to any barns either. Well, somebody's getting careless with fires around here. Well, it isn't us. All right. Sorry to trouble you. Come on, man. We'd better get back to the station. to us like a couple of thieves. I think Stumpy's right. He might very well be right, but proving it is another problem. Sure, we 
wish we could catch him in the act of leaving a live fire. Stumpy, you just gave me an idea. What is it, Ralph? Well, let two of us, say Stumpy and me, sneak up on those fellas in the morning about the time they're breaking camp. And that way we can see whether or not they really put out their fires. Are you with me, Stumpy? Sure thing, Ralph. I like nothing better than to show up them dudes for what I think they are. A pair of two-faced scoundrels. Then Mike Demery would know old Buck didn't start the fires. Yeah, that would prove it, once and for all. Since we can't do as Ralph suggested until morning, I think I'll go and have a talk with old Buck. Won't hurt anything to find out what he was doing at Demery's place. Bill, how are you? Hi, Buck. Ain't seen you fellas for quite a spell. Don't get much company up here. Can you sit and talk a bit? I can't stay very long, Buck. There is something I came to talk to you about. Something serious, Bill? Yes. There have been several fires started down along the stream that run along Mike Demery's place. See, uh... now, it's a mighty bad time for fires. Being so dry and all, mighty bad time. Yes, it is. And one of those fires was close to Mike Demery's barn. Too close for comfort. You don't say. Now, you wouldn't know anything about that fire, would you, Buck? Me? Why, why would I know anything about it, Bill? Well, someone saw you near Mike's barn just before the fire was discovered. What were you doing there, Buck? Uh, let's see. When was this? Just last night. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I was hunting frogs. Frogs? In a mountain stream? <laughs> Does sound kind of funny when you don't know, don't it? <laughs> when you don't know what? Uh, well, uh, uh, there's, there's a level place, a sort of plateau, I reckon you'd call it, uh, directly across from Mike's barn. And uh, part of the stream turns off and makes a frog pond there. So you were going frog hunting, huh? Didn't you even see the fire? No, I sure didn't. I would have helped put it out if I'd have seen it. Why, I wouldn't want nothing to happen to Mike's barn. I'm glad to hear you say that, Buck. Very glad. Y you mean somebody thought that I'd set that fire and on purpose? It just looked a little suspicious to someone, that's all. But don't worry about it, Buck. <laughs> Who's worrying? <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Me, one of them firebug critters. <laughs> <laughs> Sure hope we catch them fellers red-handed. So do I. Now that we know for sure, old, old Buck didn't have anything to do with those fires. It has to be those campers, Stumpy. We had it all figured right from the start. Couldn't have been Buck anyhow. Yeah, but we're doubly sure now. Well, we'll never prove that to Mike Demery, though. Unless we catch these here dudes getting careless. Yeah, I know. Wait. Listen. Huh? You hear something, Ralph? Yeah, I thought I did. Yeah. Just ahead there. Yep. I see them now. We didn't get here a minute too soon. Looks like they're about ready to pull out. Sure, you get that fire all out, Rex. We don't want to be responsible for any forest fires, even if those rangers do think we are. Yeah, okay, Bruce. I'll get some water and soak it good. There. That ought to do her. Here, now, I'll kick. 
kick some of this dirt over to make sure. Dig it up, turn it over. Really make sure it's out. Good. Come on. Let's get the rest of this stuff together, too. Yeah. Well, I'll be a horn toad. They'll hear you, Stumpy. Well, I'll still be a horn toad. Me, too. <laughs> well, come on. We might as well go back and report to Bill. Yep. I, I guess those fires must have been started by a fire bug after all. Yep. One thing I'm sure of wasn't Buck Sawyer. Oh, I don't think it was old Buck either. But Stumpy, who was it? Sure a good thing we heard them coming, Bruce. Yeah, we'd probably have been balled out again if they'd caught us leaving another fire. Boy, what a job to put out a fire like that every time. Yeah. Why should we go to all the trouble to put out our fire every time anyway? I mean, what if it does set a little grass on fire? That's what firemen are for, isn't it, to take care of such things? <laughs> well, come on, Bruce. Let's get going, huh? Fellas, let's go. chickens before their hats, fellas. This fire is not out yet. Yeah, fire lane ought to do the trick, though. Just hope them flames don't take an ocean to jump the lane. Uh, they won't. Don't get too confident, young fella. Bill's right. The fire ain't out. Yeah, but hey, look. That tree, it's falling across the fire lane. Uh, uh, just the thing we didn't want to happen. Come on, then. This means we got more work to do. There. At least it's under control again. Let's hope it stays under control this time. I wonder if it was them city fellers that started this one. Oh, Stumpy, you saw as well as I did how careful they were about putting out their fire this morning. Yep, I seen it, and I still ain't sure I believe it. Seeing is believing, Stumpy. Not always. He's right, Ralph. Sometimes things aren't just as they appear to be on the surface. I wonder... Under what, Bill? Um, oh, nothing important. Well, I wonder where those fellows from the city are right about now. Me too. Reckon they can't say they didn't even see this fire. Why, you could have seen it clear into the next county. What was that? It sounded like a scream. Could have been the wind in the trees. There it is again. It was a scream. Sounds like it came from right up in the middle of the fire area, Bill. No, it came from beyond that. Up among those rocks. Come on. Around this way. (laughs) 
You you sure we're going in the right direction, Bill? Yeah. I wish whoever that was screaming would do it again. So we could locate him. Maybe he ain't able to scream again. No! No! There, there. I know I heard somebody calling for help that time. So did I, Ralph. He's over that way. Closer to the stream. Hello! He is up there. Among those rocks somewhere. Hello, up there! Can you hear me? Hello! Yes, I hear you! Please, help us! It's them city dudes. Yeah, must be. They're in trouble, too. Where are you? Up here, in a cave! I know where that cave is, Bill. I was there once. Okay, Ralph. Lead the way. Boy, am I ever glad to see you fellas. What happened? Well, we got caught in that fire. Tried to outrun it, but Rex stumbled and fell. I think his leg's broken. Found this cave and dragged him up here. Who's, who's there, Bruce? It's the Rangers, Rex. They found us. They'll get us out of here for sure. Oh, good. Sarah, you got sore at you fellas before. I guess this proves you were right and we were wrong. Then it was you that got careless and started all them fires. Yeah, guess we might as well own up to it. We didn't always take time to make sure our fires were out. Just that once, when we... Heard a couple of you trying to sneak up on us like that. Reckon we must have made too much noise. Well, then this time, the fire almost caught us. It's a lucky thing Bruce here found this cave. Well, be sure your sin will find you out. Huh? What's he talking about? That's a verse in the Bible, Mr. Hilton. Be sure your sin will find you out. You may be able to hide your wrongdoing from men for a while, but you can't hide anything from God. Well, I... I guess we found that out the hard way, didn't we, Rex? Yeah, you said it. Well, let that be a lesson to you. Not only in the matter of being careless about fires, but in everything else. Remember that God knows everything you do. And that's a pretty good thing for us to remember, too, isn't it, boys and girls? We can't expect to do things that are wrong and get away with it because God knows all about each one of us, and you can be sure your sin will find you out. Well, see you next week for more adventure with... Ranger! Ranger Bill was produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute in Chicago. This is a Moody Radio Network production. <laughs>